Shalom Aleichem. Oh, today we have an interesting subject. Let's say one uh, didn't daven the Shmona Esrei, didn't daven Mincha, and uh, so what should he do to make up for the Shmona Esrei that was missed during that Mincha, you know, for that he didn't daven that Mincha. So, you know, things happen sometimes, and let's say whatever it was, he wasn't able to uh, go and say the Shmona Esrei. So how can he make up for it? Let's take a look. Let's take a look over here. We have this uh, Orishayim, Orishayim from Vilna. So let's take a look at it. About at the din, what should be? Now. Hamasupak im his Somebody that Hamasupak im his If he is not sure whether he davened or not, whether he's not sure whether he davened mensa or possibly he did. Im whom is supak im his palel, so zerumis palel. If he is doubtful whether he davened mensa, he should go and he should dive in it again. Miss Palal, he should say the Shemona Esrei again. And he doesn't have to add anything if he is misupuk, if he is not sure whether he davened anything. Uh, that uh, that mincha. We, we'll say what is meant by uh, to to add a new thing in a minute. imbari lo his Palal Eino chozer umispalel velo chidush. However, if it is very clear to him that he did daven, eino chozer umispalel velo chidush. He should not. Eino chozer umispalel. Oh, if he, if he, uh, if it's clear to him that he did daven, of course he does not have to say the Shemona Esri again because he. Because he had daven, he davened already. Oh, we're talking about that it's clear that he did not daven. I think that's what it means. If it's clear to him that he did not daven, so uh, he ain't no chozer mispalel below chiddush. He shouldn't daven without a chiddush. So what do we mean by chiddush? Chiddush means a new thing. You're introducing a new thing into the davening. Chozer u mispelel benadava kol ha peomim sheyirtze chutz mitfilas musaf. So he should go and he and he and he should say the Shmona Esrei uh, like an adava, like a like a something that is not obligatory, but he's offering an extra davening to Hashem. That's like an adava, an, a, a gift. Any time that he wants, chutz mitfilas musaf, except for the for the tefillah of musaf. Musaf is on either Shabbos or one of the yamim tovim or Rosh Chodesh. That's the beginning of the new year. Chutz mitfilas musaf. Shein mispalalin also benedava because oh oh mitfilas musaf tefillas musaf. You can't say Musaf again. Uh, um, um, Musaf, if, if one misses it apparently, one doesn't say it again. One can't, uh, one can't say Musaf as an adava, as a, as a gift to Hashem. One can, can, can say an extra Shmona Esrei, but not a Musaf, not, not Musaf. Over Shabbos Yom Tov, Einu Mispalel Tefilas Nadava, Klau, and on Shabbos and Yom Tov, one does not daven an, an extra a, a gift davening anyway, an extra davening. Vim hitzel his palel, and and if he started to daven, al das shelo his palel, he thought that he did not daven. Then if an isker shekvar his palel, then all of a sudden he rem, he remembers he did daven. Posei kafilo biensa. So one should stop even in the even in the middle. In other words, you thought you did not daven. 
and then you realize, oh, I did have it. So, so the Aruch Hashulchan here, the the Aruch Chaim says that you should stop even in the in the middle of the davening. One should stop. Bracha, even in the middle of the bracha. I feel Even if you're able to say something new, so lechadish bodover means that you're adding a new thing of the end of your davening. In other words, for refuahenu, for uh, you're asking for refuah for that Hashem should help us get better. So we, one should ask that, that please Hashem help with with refuah with uh, or somebody somebody else needs a refuah. Or anything, if you're asking for panasa, you you say to Hashem, please uh, the, help us with with parnasa, with with making a living base. So chiddush desha amarno, this chiddush that we are talking about, who she chadish davar bechol bracha. You should you can add a new item in the bracha. That uh, we're talking about something in the, the the subject. We're talking about the subject matter of the bracha. If, in other words, like we just said, if you're ta- if you're asking for a refuah for, for for healing, you 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 say please heal heal somebody or he heal oneself or if one needs parnasa. Parnas is uh, making a living. Please help, help me making a living. Help somebody else make a living. If one added even added a new thing, even in one bracha, one thing, the yo, it's enough. So to show that it's not. That it's like a you're doing an extra davening, an extra thing below kova. It's not that you're making up something. If you didn't, if you're sure that you did not daven, then that's a chova. Then that's you. One is obligated to daven again. You know the the, the shmona esrei to make up the shmona esrei. If one is not sure, and you have a feeling you didn't daven, I have a feeling I didn't daven. So then. Uh, it's, so then, what we should do is be mechadesh davar. Say a new thing, meaning, say, please, Hashem, uh, help me with with a refuah. Please, Hashem, help some so, someone that you love with a refuah shalema with uh, healing. Yeshomrim delomikre chidush Elohim nischadesh etzlo davar shalo hayatzarish elov kodem lachain. Some people say that uh, some mafarshim say that it's only considered a adding a new thing if you're adding a thing which is completely new that one did not talk about before that one never asked for in the in the davening. Tor b'shem harush. That's the tor said it in the name of the rush. Gimel ain't sibur mispadalin tefilas nedava klal. The, the, uh, when one says a a, volunt- a voluntary davening, a, 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 like a gift a davening, the uh, the whole tzib or the whole uh, the whole congregation never says the says the tefillah in the dava. This is only for an individual person. Ain't tzibur mispalalin tefillah in the dava kalau. The whole congregation never says a a, a gift a davening, a, a voluntary davening. Din harotzer leis palel tefilas nedava tzarech shiehei makir es atzmo vezoriz vezohir viamid b'daato sheyuchol lechavin b'tefilaso meirosh viad sof. Somebody that is offering to daven an extra davening, he should be very. He should know that himself. That he is going to be very enthusiastic, and he's very clear, and he's going to be in his right mind, and won't be distracted. He's going to be able to lechaven b'tefilah, so he'll be able to to uh, have kavana. That means he'll he'll have the intentions in his 
tefillah in his davening may rosh biad sof from the beginning to the end. Avalim eno yachol lechaven yafe if he's not able to have all the intentions or the, the proper intentions. Karin and bei lamali robes zivachesem. Karin and bei lamali robes zivachesem. Yehalavai fiuchol lechaven begimul tefilo sakavuos layom. If you're if if you can't really uh, have all of the kavanas that you have, better that one shouldn't give the extra davening. The one, it's it's enough that one davens all of the davenings that one has to. Shachris, Mincha, and Mayrev, the Shmona Esrei. Let's see something else. So, in other words, that if you're giving an extra. Uh, an evening that be that's that one has to be for sh- very sure that one is is up to it that one one is going to be thinking about all the proper thoughts during the whole time of the davening and if not then better to be davening the three halavai halavai it should it should be that we should be able to daven the three davenings of uh, of the day, Shachris, Mincha, and Mayriv. Okay, we can. So this is Aruch Chaim, Hilchos Tefila, the Halachos of Tefila, Kuf Zayin and Kuf Ches. That's 107 and 108. This is from the. This is from the Aruch Chaim. This is the Aruch Chaim. Joseph Cairo is that so? With the, the, the with the Hagos of Rav Moshe Israelis, that's so. how. And uh, this is this was from Vilna. It's from Vilna. It's Alma Achim Rom. Rom. This is the printing press of the the widow and the brothers Rom from Vilna. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Zun. Michal Tov and Hatzlacha.